I've been working on my dream game where you run your medieval tavern. Now recently, I've been asked, <clears throat> threatened, to allow the player to spend the profits that they make from selling drinks on upgrading their tavern. From buying additional tables, storage, to decorating their tavern with banners and lightings. There's a massive flaw though that even AAA games suffer from when it comes to an upgrade system. Not mentioning any games in particular. Okay, it's cyberpunk. But enough of that, let's get started. But first and foremost, I need to create the UI for this new system. I need to add icons of all the possible upgrades. I implemented this smooth workflow that has me loading all the items in Unity. I then use the camera to take a screenshot of each item and save them as a PNG. From there, I open them all in Photoshop, add a nice drop shadow, slap on a filter to flatten out some of the details, and boom. Looks less like a photo and slightly more like a painting. From there, I export them back into Unity and then I can load them into my UI. I had some previously done UI back in February, but yikes, it looks pretty awful. Reason this looks so bad is because I tried copying the UI of other medieval games, but their UI looks realistic because the models in their games do. My models are a bit special, so I need a UI to match. I settled on a more hand-drawn style, similar to other games like Might of Merchants by Hans Brewer or Bad North by Oscar Stahlberg. This new UI screen can be accessed back in the office, and I'm really loving the vibe. By the way, the background blur you see when I open the UI, that's done just by setting a post-processing layer, and every time I open it, it has the focus distance set to very low, but the focal length very far away. And animating the UI was super simple, I just did that in the editor. It's gonna show all the decorations and inventory that you can buy, along with any reasoning as to why they're not unlocked yet. I briefly took a moment to polish the inside of our tavern, fix a few glaring issues. One thing I noticed is that our tavern ceiling is about as empty as a Reddit moderator's life. I know it's missing something, so I took a little field trip to my gym, which is conveniently built in an old Amish barn. Now looking up the rafters, I realized that I'm missing a plethora of uh, American flags, but also support beams. They are crisscrossing everywhere, and these little triangles are super important as well. As to the reason why, well, it has something to do with engineering and physics and shit. Okay, actually, wait, wait, wait. Real talk for a moment. Okay, I know I knew this back when I was a kid. I think Cyberchase explained it to me. So how come now that I'm an adult with years of school and degrees, I can't remember the exact reason why triangles increase support. Does anyone else feel like they were once a smart, gifted kid until one day you just kind of woke up and realized that you're just paying rent until... Jesus Christ. I'm sorry guys, I don't know why I got so dark. Uh, let's get back to video games. Now the upgrade system is going to contain much more than just decorations. We're going to keep track of our inventory, including items such as mugs, bowls, storage items such as uh, barrel racks and mug racks. The mug rack itself is pretty chill, just adding additional layers as you purchase them. It also unlocks the ability to purchase a set of five mugs each time you buy a new upgrade tier. Barrel storage is similar, first one is free, additional ones are expensive. I should probably increase this room size so I can add a few more. Anyway, additional tables can now be purchased as well, allowing you more space for your customers to sit and drink. Now, not all of the upgrades will be functional in nature. There will also be decorations that can be accessed under their own tab. These will include tablecloths in colors of green for the grass below, blue for the heavens above, yellow for the fields of grain, and red the color of blood for the blood god. These colors are present on not just the tablecloths, but the shields and banners that adorn your tavern as well. Now, more importantly, what's the point of all these upgrades if there's not any actual gameplay progression tied to them? The core value of Tavern Team is to make a fun game. That's the only directive I have. I need a system in which players are encouraged to purchase these upgrades, so added additional visual appeal points to each of the upgrades. From plus one on the green to plus four on the red, it's a pretty decent system, but it's not perfect. What if your favorite color is green and you don't want to upgrade past that point? You know, this is a critical flaw in the upgrade system of so many games I've played. I love Cyberpunk, unpopular opinion, but now that they fixed most of the bugs, it's an absolutely great game. 
Their upgrade system at launch was trash though. This was my end game character. Yeah, not exactly the badass I was intending to play as, but I had my strongest gear on. Now, I wanna avoid this problem in Tavern Team, so I made sure that each decoration upgrade provides you with a bonus to your tavern's visual appearance, regardless of which item is equipped. This allows you to equip your favorite color or mix and match them like a total psycho if that's what you wanna do, I don't really care. There are also a few miscellaneous upgrades I added, such as chandeliers and candles. Same holds true for these as well. If you really think the iron chandelier is better than the antler one, go ahead, equip it, or equip none, and still get the bonuses anyway. Now that this framework is all created, it'll be easy enough to go back later and add more miscellaneous items, such as plants, or say, unique tablecloths obtained uh, from trading with customers. If you do have any suggestions, leave them down below. I do wanna thank you guys for all the great staff suggestions on that last video. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go back and do an entire video on those in the future, so thank you all so much. This new system does present some new challenges. For starters, our old lighting system is a total no-go. See what happens when you turn the tables off? Yeah, so this is because I baked the lighting texture into the terrain, and since this was no longer going to work, I needed to figure out a better solution. I was able to find a nice middle ground with the use of light probes. It's similar to light maps in that the probes are baked during the initial lighting of the scene. The difference is that while light maps store lighting information about light hitting the surfaces in your scene, light probes store information about light passing through empty space in your scene. Now the point of using light probes is that they will provide a way to get high quality lighting on moving objects or objects that may or may not exist in the scene. In order to place all these nodes, I downloaded this free asset. There is a paid version that looks a little bit better, but let's be honest, guys. I buy Walmart brand peanut butter. You are tripping balls if you think I'm going to unnecessarily spend money if the free solution is good enough. One other thing to mention is that all these selections are saved in the player's save file, allowing these selections to be consistent between multiple play sessions. Currently, I'm working on a bunch of multiplayer code and some character creation, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, you could subscribe. Anyway, have a great rest of your day, guys.